Hello everyone, welcome to a foreign farming in the Philippines. Well, we're back at Phillips and Gladys's place. I don't think I showed you this perspective of it uh, from the video last time. So we're going to go in and do a progress video. We were here yesterday, but Philip says they've done uh, a bunch of stuff. Well, be careful for the... There might be some land I was saying I like this door. Yeah, that's uh, custom made. This was cheaper than the ones you buy at the hardware store here. Oh yeah, we had I we had ours made. And that's solid wood too, right? Oh yeah, it's yeah, it's solid because it's, it's way better security. I don't want the ones with the flimsy stuff. Right. You did yours the right way. I mean, you you uh, varnished it or whatever before. You didn't wait too long. We waited too long, and ours are all warped. And yeah, that's a that's a mahogany. Actually, I put I put the. Uh, that's a nice door. Yeah, I got it for five five. Five thousand five hundred. Yeah. It's a little over a hundred dollars for a solid yeah, and the ones mahogany get, door. The ones you get in the hardware store here are probably like six five. That are pre made and they look the same as everything else. Let's see what we got going on up here. Wow, look at all this high wire. That looks pretty, huh? That does. I don't know how well that's coming up on video, but there's like a tie wire net. It's like a grid everywhere. Very nice. Yeah, that's gonna add a lot of strength. Oh yeah. It's like a big spider web on top of it. Very cool. The visibility is a little bit better today. See if you guys can see Lakey. Oh, you can see Lakey from here. Look at the green hills. So this is their view. This is going to be their view. This is going to be your bedroom up here, right? Yeah. 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 Oh darn! Can't see nothing. <laughs> wow! Look at that. Yeah, you can see the harbor really good right now. That's uh, Ubay uh, Port right there, and yep. then that's all Potogo Island, and then you can see the fish fans. I don't know if you can see them now on your phone, but it's a lot brighter out right now. And right behind there, you can see Leitu. Yeah, what looks like, I don't know, clouds on the horizon, that's actually island. One big island. And that's what stops all the hurricanes and any storm surges. Yeah. Men and out of the south. Um, Lete to the west and Cebu and, and Samar kind of to the north and east, right? Yeah, north and east. And I said west and Lete, it should be to the east. Yeah. And the typhoons that. never come from the west here. They always, the, they always just go up yeah. west or down. No, I think they always go up, actually. They come east to west, and sometimes they'll come up from Mindanao, kind of, sort of. <clears throat> but that's why Bohol is so protected, because it's large land masses all around it. So how high does the high tide come? Sometimes it gets to a couple inches right below that seawall. But uh, we're going to be redoing the seawall, taking the silicone out. and. Uh, Are you going to be coming up a couple feet? Yeah, so you see where the... Uh, it's hard to see now, but basically where the, where the, the level of the flooring is going to be. Yeah. Um, think about this, nine meters out, and it's going to be probably like three feet higher. And you, you, you know the, you know the uh, when you're driving along the road here, they have those big cement blocks on the side of the road? Yeah. I'm going to try to do that at the very end of it. See so. if you can find some of those? Yeah, I'll just have them make them. <laughs> I don't know, you, you could probably find them cheaper than you can have them Pick made. Pick them up or something. But no, it's going to be cool. And I just got to figure out a way to get the backfill in here. That's the trickiest part. Bucket brigade. Think about this. This will be 32 times, plus backfill here too. So it's just say 32 times 12. You get that. About 400. And then that's how many cubic meters you would need. A lot of buckets. That is like months. That's like <laughs> two and a half months of using buckets. I mean, I guess I could maybe try to do a Pacquiao or something and I just don't have to worry about it. You know, these guys do an amazing amount of work. Yeah. Six guys with a bucket brigade. Mm -hmm. It would take them less than a week, I'm sure. The, the problem is I'd have to drop it off at the road back there by your car. Uh -huh. <laughs> so maybe not six people, maybe 20 maybe people. A, maybe a wheelbarrow brigade. Yeah. But, uh, when it's all done, it's going to be awesome. So you're going out nine meters, which is about 30 feet. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, we'd be going at nine meters. The width of your the width of your property here? It's thirty two meters. Okay. So you how how so you're going out the whole thing? Yeah. yeah all the way across. Thirty two meters wide and nine meters out? Yeah. Yeah, that's a bunch. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a little pricey, but uh it would be worth it. Have you have you kind of sort of maybe penciled anything out yet? Caught material cost? I had somebody come out and just for right here. Yeah. Just from the thirty two meters and maybe go out one meter or two meters, they said it's gonna cost over four hundred thousand pesos. And so You know the rock, the bigger stones, I think is about now don't quote me on this, I think it's about seven hundred pesos per yard. Yeah. So well, that's and good to know that. And what were you saying? Four hundred. Yeah, about four hundred thousand just to get everything. Four hundred. No, how many yards? How many cubic yards? For it's. I don't know. It, I, I figure that it's going to be. Well, four hundred. Up and down, probably. Like four hundred would be a three feet deep and and nine meters out. How and deep would the sea water be? Um, how deep is the water out there? Nine meters. If you walk out there 30 feet on the other end of that boat, how deep's the water? Uh, or I guess at the beginning of that boat. Probably the same as right here. <laughs> Does it, there's not much slope at all? No, not much slope. You'd have to probably go out to uh, probably 400 meters, and then you'd start to see something. Well, just figure where that boat is. So it'd be two meters deep, just, just, just say. Okay. So if it's two meters deep, and it would come back to, and you're and you're going to come up a meter higher than where it is right there. Yeah. So, uh, four hundred cubic meters to put a one meter. So eight hundred cubic meters, and then cement on top of that. So eight hundred cubic meters at seven hundred pesos per sketch. That's five five hundred sixty thousand. So the guy that quoted you 400 was... Yeah, trying to get me or something. Well, maybe he was just, maybe he's got a cheaper, maybe in the volume. No, I have to look. I think he quoted me 500 for those stones. Oh. Uh, that could have made. But he that, normally but, works in Tag Delorean, so it could have been different somewhere. And for the bigger stones, you know, it might be cheaper. I'm just talking, because I, yeah. I've bought three different grades of, I've bought the, what we would call three-quarter crush. Mm -hmm. I bought sand, and I bought the the really small rock, mm -hmm. and the most we paid, I think the sand was. Boy, it's rough to get all. I tell you, you have to ask Marcel how much a cubic a cubic it's, of it's, sand was. It's, it's hard. I think uh, right now, uh, cubic a cubic of sand might be 900, 1100 here in town. Yeah. And uh, just so you know, if you need a hookup on sand, I can get you a hookup. <laughs> I've got a whole plateau of it. <laughs> yeah, I can get. In fact, I got lots of sand. For 5, if you... How many? Eight cubics for five thousand pesos. That's pretty good. And it delivers. Yeah, that's good. Uh, we're I'm sand poor though. They're sand poor. Yeah. <laughs> I've got plenty of sand because, uh, you know, all this beholds an uplift island, mm -hmm. so this was all ocean floor at yeah. one time or another. So you go down through varying little pockets, varying layers of sand all over this island. And it just so happens that in part of our property, the sand is, I don't know, 30 feet deep. Wow, that's, that's a lot of sand, bro. And it's white <laughs> sand. It was white beach sand. You probably sell that. You know, I, I talked to a couple guys about it, and they came out and looked and kicked it around. and eh. Yeah. You know, the cool thing, after this is done, so the last pro project I have to do here is, I'm actually want to build a bamboo bridge from here that probably goes like 300 meters out, 200 meters out. I think I probably have to get a permit for it, but there's going to be no cement used, and I want to put a 100 square meter silicate in the middle of the ocean. A 100 square meter what? A silicate, like a, like a bamboo like this, but bigger and more sturdy. For? Just relaxing, going out there and have a boat dock out there and then just, you know. You can do everything if you get a permit. <laughs> you can do it. You can. <laughs> it, it's going to be a lot of work to do it. Before you commit on poles and all that other stuff, come visit the fish pen. Yeah. And you can look at our how our uh, caretaker house is set up. Okay. And a caretaker house, you know, something 
uh, similar to the the size that you're talking, um, just anchored to the sea floor out there. It'll only be a couple hundred grand. Yeah. Yeah. I think it'd be good. It's just you know, bro, just relax. You've been? Have you been to? Uh, they called it at the time Barracuda. They might have called it something. Been there, yep. You know how they have the steps coming down? Yeah. Do that out there. There you go. You know. Yeah, I've tried to get Gabriel several times to build me steps out there, and he just, <laughs> he doesn't get it. Yeah, I was going to ask he, He's not know. old with a bad back, so he doesn't, he doesn't think that there's any problem getting out of the water yeah, when no, there I, is, when you're old and fat and, oh, yeah. and a bad back. I can't get out of the water for the life of me. I'm too fat. <laughs> I float, but I can't get out. <laughs> yeah. My power to weight ratio is not like his. I mean, he, he, he rambos hand over hand on a rope walking up the side of the fish pen. Oh, wow. Yeah, not him. But he only weighs 100 pounds, so. What kind of fish do you get out there besides the one that you're, besides the fish that you're growing? Are there any, like, predator fishes out there, or you know, I, try to snack on them? I've ne we've never had, Gabriel says he's never seen a shark in his whole life. Mm -hmm. And, he, and he, grew, he grew up fishing in that bay. Um, yeah. I think there's groper out there. Okay. Cause he he. You gotta watch I, out for those, right? If they're big enough. I saw him like four hours after it happened, mm -hmm. and he swims around the the fish pan and he goes in with a bolo and he he knocks the barnacles off the off the bamboo, yeah. right? <laughs> he was still a little shook up when he was telling me about it, because mm -hmm. he was swimming. And a fish about as big as he, he didn't, he, he said he just saw its head and then was escaping so fast that he doesn't really know what kind of fish it was. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I'm thinking it was a groper. They call him Lapu Lapu here, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And it was bigger than he was. Are those the fish that can, they can like eat people sometimes? Yeah. And yeah. They, they eat sharks. I mean, they're, yeah, that's crazy. they don't look like a, they don't, they look like a giant goldfish. Yeah, they don't look like a big koi or something. Yeah. But um, their mouths open really big, as I understand it, and Man. just scared the crap out right, of Gabriel. Good? He was still shook up when he when I talked to him about it. <laughs> Takes a lot to scare somebody here, too. <laughs> well, yeah, a fisherman that's been in the water his whole life. I mean, he's a fisherman. That's what he grew up. His dad was a fisherman. He's been a fisherman for himself for 15 years. How's the water out there? It's pretty clear, or is it? Uh... It's. It depends the on the day. It depends on the, on what the sky is like. The water is generally always clear, but mm -hmm. sometimes the the combination of the cover and the waves, mm -hmm. like the little tiny waves like we got right now, it's hard to see down into the water. Yeah. But on a calm day, the right conditions, I can see 15 feet down into the water. Really? Yeah, yeah. man, that's cool. I'll just bring my spear gun over there. Bring it. I got some flippers and some, some goggles. From there you go. And, uh, We'll, nice we'll do a little, well, I'll, I'll, I'll leave it up to the girls. Maybe we can do a little barbecue out there or something. Yeah, I was going to ask if you had any fishing poles, like real we, American fishing poles. Well, we've got... Western. I don't know. I think we do. Marcel stashed them somewhere. Yeah. But we've, we've got a couple of fishing yeah, poles somewhere. Awesome, dude. Just go fishing in the ocean. And... Yeah. But whether, whatever, you know, we're only like two kilometers from the, from the shore. Mm -hmm. Hey, I have fished that until it's just dead. <laughs> Honestly, I've never seen any fish around other than the one that Gabriel said. Yeah. I've never seen any fish right around the, our fish pen bigger than this. Oh, man. I mean, they just, if you, I call it Gabriel's Cove. It's, there's a little community there. It's where Gabriel lives, mm -hmm. where he, his family is from. <clears throat> and there's guys that come in in the boats and they, they unload their fish there. Mm. You know, they just, the, the little boats like that, they go out and they go fishing. Oh, yeah. Those, those, those little cool. tiny boats like that. And they come in, and some of the fish that they bring in are this big. <laughs> uh, and that, that's how, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, they're tiny, huh? And all the way up to, you know, maybe a pound. Yeah, that's what they, that's what they bring in over here. They call them like dungy. Yeah, but it's all ones. different kinds. I mean, there was a, 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 one fish, I forget what somebody called it it was a it's a it's a coral reef fish it cleans the coral parrot fish yeah and it's it was, colorful like purple and, it looked and like a it orange. looked like someone had painted that fish it yeah. was green yeah. and orange and pink yeah, it's the most are... beautiful little fish i'd ever seen yeah it's supposed to not catch them yeah they and, catch them though. and there it was yeah 
man. But, you know, there's a lot of stuff out there that they're not supposed to catch, and they catch it anyway because there's no enforcement on the laws here. No, they have lots of laws here, but there's not... And they have agencies to, like, come out and do something, but in reality, they don't do a whole lot of anything unless there's a lot of complaints on one. Yeah, this is, everything here is complaint-driven. Yeah, so they just... I mean, if there's no complaints, they just stay at the, yeah, but, yeah. Stay at the office for all, all year long. Exactly. So. I mean, everything's against the law here, but no one enforces it. Mm -hmm. Do you know if there's any, uh, like, sea urchins out there? I haven't seen any. You haven't seen any out there. It'd be cool to go out there and check it out. There are little jellyfish, though, yeah, well, that you don't want to mess with. Yeah, I know. I messed with a black one before in tap on, and it made me itch, like, forever. <laughs> Those guys right there are heading out to get something. Yeah, I gotta, I'm gonna try to see who that is. Oh, hi. Look, they're waving, bro. Oh, you missed it. <laughs> I'll wave back at them. Maybe they'll wave again. Nah. Nah. I'm trying to think about who that is. I think that's my neighbor. Hey, everybody's your neighbor here. Yeah. House is like right there, the silver one. That's what I was wanting to ask you. What's it? You know, we we live quite a ways away from our nearest neighbor, mm -hmm. and so we never have we never uh, have the karaoke and all that. What's it like here? I mean, you... Some, sometimes, yeah. So um, they, some guy tried to sell a karaoke machine here, like months ago, and he left it over here. And every once in a while, they'll start playing it. Uh, it's pretty loud. Yeah. Um, and then the neighbor over here kind of plays karaoke <laughs> at their house, and uh, that's about it. Uh, I don't think I hear anything else, and you can tell right now it's completely quiet yeah. in the middle of the day. Um, well, that's a good thing, because karaoke, you know, window-rattling music drives me insane. <laughs> yeah, I know, it does. Fiesta time, man, you'll hear it everywhere, though. Well, you know, it's just... It's I give leeway at Fiesta time. I don't even really... when I was young, even when I was a teenager and a young adult, you know, I suffered going through the bar into bars that had loud music just because there was women there, right? Yeah. But my whole life, I never liked loud music. Mm -hmm. I think I was a little borderline autistic when I was a little fella. Mm -hmm. Loud noises, flashing lights. Yeah, you know, would think, that what, what the hell was this guy ever doing working in a casino? But um, even to this day, I just don't like loud music. If I have to raise my voice to have a conversation, it's too damn loud. <laughs> and the music stops, you're like yelling. <laughs> Yeah, it's just I. Uh, yeah, I know. I know like how it. you feel. I don't really. I don't really go around that type of type of stuff. I don't go around to bars and anything flashy lights. I try to stay away. Well, from. I don't know. I don't. I don't either anymore. But back in the day, you know, you did what I did. What young men do. I was in the military, so that type of stuff. And I got out, and I didn't. I didn't really do it anymore. You know. What was your job in the military? I was infantry. 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 Did you like it? Did you like the army? Yeah, I liked the army. Yeah, the army. The army. I liked it. I have lots of good memories and I have lots of uh, bad memories about it. Of course, everyone has that, but, you know. Um, but uh, yeah, it was a long time ago. Well, I'm gonna wrap this one up because my arm's getting tired. Thank you, everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.